Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time of day you've chosen to join us here. Thank you very much and welcome to From the Back Cave. I'm your host, Red Thunder Adam Gerard, and joining me this week are the probe Matt Richens. Yahoy! The Dad Knight, Brayden Ahern. Well, hello. And LL Cool Elder himself, Wayne Campbell. And gentlemen, uh, obviously, Braden's still in Moe, a place that Sponge uh, will never go, because nobody will go, buses don't go there, so he's got no way of getting there. Um, the rest of us, as you can see, come from different places. I, myself, have gone to Luxembourg, because it's a place I know Sponge will think is fictional. Fair enough. Matt, where are you joining us from this week? Uh, I'm actually stuck in a commercial elevator at the moment. Um, oh, got, you've got good internet feed in there. Yeah, just uh, the, the using the phone. As a oh, yeah. hotspot, so it's connecting quite well. It's a good 3G right there. Yeah. And uh, LL, where are you? I'm in Vegas. Oh, Vegas, Vegas, baby. He's either coming back broke or with syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's payday. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. And that was another classic perverted Wayne moment. Brought to you by From the Back Cave. Now, guys, should we just rip this Band-Aid straight off and get into uh, get into <laughs> the first part of the, the recap series for this week? Yeah, just do it. All right, here we go. Tear it off. It's Gotham time in three, two, boom. Hey, what's up? This is our L. Cool Elder. Just talking about Gotham, uh, episode four. Uh, we find Jarvis Tech trying to, wants to recruit... Um, some luchadors who are supposed to be Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and a few others, a whole family of them, uh, to get his sister back from the uh, GCPD. Uh, so he grabs her, she tells Lee, who's come back, so she can tell Jim, you know, why she left and why she moved on. Um, so they go grab her. Uh, Alice, she tells Lee that her blood is, um, has these magical properties that changes people uh, randomly, so there's no one way. Um, so Jarvis grabs her, tells her that, you know, he can't, he's, uh, she makes him sane, uh, so she uh, dies. Um, I think she jumps out the window, or falls out the window, and lands on a, you know, a uh, a, a pipe and uh, so blood dripping off and um, and then we find that Penguin is the, is the uh, mayor uh, even though he tried to buy off the uh, the officials to make it so Enigma changes you know changes those plans and um, so Penguin is mayor by default because everyone likes him uh, Jim well Hemo Jim uh, still hell bent on getting revenge. Um, just trying to think now. Our oh, Talon uh, gets stabbed. Uh, he doesn't feel it, but he feels woozy. So uh, Selena Kyle fixes him up. Then eventually he kisses her. Then he runs off. Um, no, he takes off afterwards. Um, so he tells uh, Bruce that he kissed her and um, that he's going to go away. So he jumps off the uh, roof uh, onto a truck. Doesn't even feel the thing. Walks off, smiles. Then the uh, the chairperson grabs him and says, "You know, you know, we're your parents, so we're going to take you away." Not sure where that storyline's going to head. I think he's going to come back as Bruce Wayne again. Who knows? Um, and that's roughly it. Wasn't exciting. Hopefully it gets the exciting bit soon because I am getting very dismal and you can hear by my voice, it is not very happy. <clears throat> Alright, catch us. Why the fuck can Jim Gordon do what? Why do you need Batman in this city? Is it just because Jim Gordon gets old? Because he can break Scarecrow, or not Scarecrow, Mad Hat his shit, he snaps out of it, he's... Just, I don't, like, faces him for a little bit, but, like, even Batman is phased longer than that in the comics by this shit. So, why do you need Batman? What is the point? Or, conversely, is, is this show now going to happen where it's it's the Arrow Rider style where it's just based on the comics and Bruce is going to die at the hands of a man 
and so Jim is going to declare that will never happen again, and in remembrance of Bruce or Master B, he will come be Atman, Batman. I reckon Bullock will die, and that's what will tip him over to be Batman. Ah, oh, because of Bullock. Be that man. Batman. Or you could get back with Barbara. No. She dies. She's Harley. Yeah, but yeah. Barbara dies. I don't think I don't think they'll ever kill off Barbara. Never. Because they, they like her they like her not dying. Like mm. they they like throwing her off of things and then being like, Look, this bitch can bounce. Plus, as we found out in this week's episode, you can jump any human. I mean, as long as you don't feel oh, pain, apparently you can jump off of 19 so... stories, land on a car, and it won't break your legs or anything, because being able to get cut, which shows that you are fucking fragile and mortal, and not feeling it is the same as having impervious bones. Either that, or just like, uh, where was he? Where, he wasn't in Cadmus, he was in what, Green Hill, Red Hill, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Whatever it was, uh, racist references aside, Indian Hill, racist Hill, Curry Hill, whatever. Um, he was, uh, it's great telemarketing there in Indian Hill, but I digress. He, uh, you know. He... Not only did he, he jump 19 stories or whatever it was, but he landed on top of a truck yeah. that did not dent yeah. at all. And uh, they're not strong on the top. Yeah. They're not. They're not designed to be strong on the top. They're just like sheet metal, like jumping on. But the they're roof. designed so that if you if you get stuck in it, if, you if, if you, yeah, I mean, like if you stand on the top of a car and bounce, you're gonna yeah, dent you it. Yeah, you dent it. Same thing's gonna happen on a fucking truck, yeah, no absolutely. matter how small you are. Yep. When you're jumping you're out. Through it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. Also, just, that just would come. Would... If he'd gone through like the canopy of a car, like a canopy. Sorry, no car. Like a truck. If a truck had had a you know, a canvas canopy, and he'd go crashing through that like fucking Indiana Jones style, and then like pulled himself out of the fucking Thinking canvas and run away. off. Yeah, sure. No fucking worries, mate. But just, boom. Well, I just did the superhero landing. I bet that looked really fucking cool. Kind of hard on your knees too. Because it's hard on your oh, fucking man. knees. <laughs> and they live. Unless, unless he did like a parkour thing where he did a roll. He didn't though. He just landed. Yeah, and that's not really going to work if you're going straight down. That's if you're sort of across and then roll, like you jump a rooftop to rooftop. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was uh, pretty yeah. shit. Yeah, that was 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 bad. And Bain, Barnes got some of the, oh, the crazy oh. bitch's blood in his eyes. So he's all like, "I got Alice's blood in my eyes." And no. Why do you keep reminding me of this shit that happened in the I never get Alice's blood in my eyes. This is a terrible day for humanity. Yeah. Barnes is Bane now. They're just going to take out the... Because he won't be able to pronounce the R anymore. So, he, what's your name? Bones. <laughs> Bones. Are you saying Bane? Bones. I'm Bones. Bones. I fucking hate how this show is going. I really do. Like, I keep forgetting what happens. By the time we get to the, the podcast... I forget what's happened in the show, and then you keep, like, as we discuss it, it keeps reminding me of what the show is. Yeah. Burn. I mean, they started off going really, really well with the characters, but even the characters, and some of the characters are just like, Penguin, for example. Trump. He is Trump. Too sensitive. Trump. Yeah. Trump. Yeah, Trump. Mm. Trump. Yeah, he's Trump. But he's just... Way too sensitive for what the penguin is supposed to be. He's not supposed yeah, to be but, but that's because for that's because this sensitive penguin is going to make Gotham great again. <laughs> no, he's going to make Gotham safe again. Yeah. No, it's just I don't know. It's just like oh, I love my friends. Oh, I'm so sentimental. Oh, someone can say a few words and it's going to completely change my mind if I should kill them or not. No, that's not the penguin. The penguin is just ruthless and. 
barrel. Uh, but he, he, he this is this he, is the origin story, though, Brayden. You he, can't expect to get it all at once. He doesn't get like that till Batman shows up. And he's gonna he's gonna make Gotham safe again because, like America. Wait, what did you say? I said America. 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 Yeah. Fucking America. Yeah, this show's shit. <laughs> yeah, this 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 got bad quick. This went downhill fast. Normally, that normally it takes them six episodes to stink it up. <laughs> like I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the commitment to really fucking tanking this in like what is it four episodes? Yeah. Can, can you hit those applause again, Vin? Just fucking <laughs> great work. Get your show bag out the fucking door as you get the fuck out. Yeah, you don't know. Alice at the end of last episode so then this episode we would have seen something mental um, Mad Hatter fucking mad Mad Hatter but what you forget Brayden is they cram all this their plot lines in the first five episodes Mm -hmm. and you go fuck we got nothing not anymore it's the first three episodes now yeah no but the the track record this is like oh yeah but but come on the right, gold so meddling, they, give credit where credit do, goddammit, three episodes. All right, so they're putting all their plot line in the first three episodes, and they're going, they'll, they'll write these stories off before halfway mark of the season, and go, fuck, uh, we need some fillers for a bad storyline that we've already got, but... Hey, here's an idea. What if we, like, uh... What if we aged up Ivy? Because I know this is supposed to be an origin story, but like, what if we aged her up so she was like twenty five with big cans, so Jim could fuck her? Like, what if Jim fucked Ivy? And then, and then write her off the next episode because yeah. you haven't even seen. There's but no... what if? What if Jim? What? If, what? What if? What if? Right? What if we had some sort of like Bruce gets taken Indian into Indian Hill and he gets turned into a chick, right? And so Alfred raises him and helps bring him up, and then like the series finale is that Jim finally married, but doesn't get gets to bang Brucina. <laughs> no, but what's going to happen is that uh, because he he pulls off an, the talent pulls off an amazing Bruce, even if his, his cadence is the same. His haircut's perfect. Yeah, and it, it's just on point. And then uh, so they're going to kidnap Bruce, replace him with Indian Hill Bruce, and no one will know. Because he's just that good a character, and they'll take down Wayne Manor that way. Hit the theme. Well, I'm at the Gotham theme, but still. Oh. Yeah, well, yes, either way. Either way. Either way. But yeah. They, I mean, once again, like I said last week, I'm pissed off that they didn't really go anywhere with Mad Hatter. We didn't get to see full on crazy fucking Mad Hatter. Um, I. Like, thought it was cool for a second. Oh, yeah, cool. They're bringing in the tweeds and twiddled in, twiddled on. And I'm like, ah, oh, some of them are getting killed off straight away, um, which happened. But then, <laughs> you can see them with it. The worst great. part about that was this is the modern the modern era and they're coming in and the wrestling moves they're using are the, like, high spot flashy moves mm-hmm. that don't really do anything. You know what I mean? Yep. And then, and then, I think the point was that they're fucking dumb. And what the fuck was with the GCPD? Some dudes just in a mask and fucking wrestling suits so come and stand on the desk and be like, yeah, we're going to put on a little show, start fucking everyone up, and no one pulls out a fucking gun to go fucking freeze? They were white. So? They were white. You so? don't shoot white people in America. Oh, fucking well, sorry, where's the taser or the baton? Like, just fucking... Well, how they about, don't have that. You have to have a gun or nothing. About, it's Gotham. Oh, this is a fucking police station. Get out. No, because... Nah! You might hurt somebody's feelings. Uh, this isn't... It, this isn't based in the 20, 2016 <laughs> where fucking people need a safe space mm. because someone said a bad word about them. It is totally based in 2016. We've got Donald Trump running for fucking, a, like, an office. We've got cops that are either incompetent or shooting people they shouldn't shoot, as we saw in that episode with the mutants, where they're just like, shoot the fuckers. <laughs> so, like, it sounds, per- it sounds like 2016 to me. And yeah. meanwhile, Jim's just out there fucking venereal disease, not any chick he can. That sounds like 2016 to me. 
In fact, there's there's your recap for 2016. Rick, 2016, it's been a Gotham kind of year. Yeah, no shit. Mm. Got ham. Fucking celebrities are dying like they're in the GCPD. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Jesus Christ. I reckon fucking December's going to kill a lot of them off. Just a culling. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, all right, got to wrap this up. It's 2016. No, what'll what no, what be? You, it'll be you, the you, Oscars. You. They'll all they'll be they'll all be at the Oscars next year, and a fucking meteorite will just well, fucking clatter. ISIS will come in. Yeah, ISIS will take the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll lose them fucking all. Yeah, except for <laughs> except for Clooney and Jackman, who will somehow crawl out of the fucking bodies, and then just they'll get an award for fucking crawling out of the bodies. <laughs> or, um... What's the fucking... Jennifer Lawrence will probably survive somehow because they're fucking fart cloud or immune earth. Oh, what's that singer that just doesn't fucking die and chain smokes like a champion? Um, I can't... I can't think of his Keith name. Keith Richards? Yes! He would fucking survive. Oh, it's just a cockroach, man. <laughs> Uh, dude, literally, the earth like, the uh, earth will explode in a billion years and Keith will just be there being like, I'm going to snort some that. <laughs> Give me some of that, mate. Fuck you. Fuck you. Less le- leftover earth going, oh, fuck, that's my last pack of smokes. <laughs> what am I going to do now? <laughs> I've run out of fucking smack. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to clean up. Start exercising and then he'll die. Instantly. I guarantee if he went into rehab, he would fucking die. Yeah. Next day, they'd be like, Keith Richards, dead. Dead. <laughs> Unknown causes. No, no, he'd just be like, shock. Body could not survive. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it. Uh, you got any awards to give out for this one? I'm just going to call it straight away. I've got no, no fucking uh, cranes for this at all. Not fucking no, one. Okay, um, and in terms of, uh, yeah, no, I'm, on. I'm holding, I'm holding on to my, uh, my Cranston. Have you got a Cranston away? I got no Cranston, but I would say I'll predict episode five to ten. They'll have a shadow on um, Jim. He'll have a shadow cast on him because he'll be, you know, designated Batman or G Man. Well, Buns is gonna die. Oh, uh, no, okay, so Barnes is going to become Bane. There's not going to be anyone left running the GCPD, and then our uh, boy Harvey, be like, Harvey becomes the captain and immediately and, hires by Jim. Yeah. Oh, Lee, will, Lee will go up there. That's exactly what's going to happen. So it could be a three-way Or Mexico. it'll be Lucius, because Lucius works there now. Yeah, why the fuck does... Lu- oh, the- Hang on. Not this week. <laughs> why did he get... Why is he oh, was he just now? filling in? Maybe he was just filling... Oh, no. Fuck, fuck, this no. fuck, this fuck this show. Fuck this show. Guggenheims. <sighs> I'm going to... Trump. Call him by his name. <laughs> yeah, for, for a few reasons. Because he's fucking Trump. They got them safe again. And that fucking tan, exactly like Trump. And because he's just not Penguin anymore. He's too sensitive and it's pissing me off. Yeah. Mine's going to the director. Oh, here we go. Just for the the oversight of like, uh, two seconds ago we're stitching up a stab wound and then, oh uh, yeah, you'll just jump 19 stories and live. Mm. Yeah, I'm going with uh, whoever choreographed the wrestling. Scenes. Fuck you. All right, let's do it. I'm going five down. Yeah, five down. Four down. Shit, you're missing some uh, I'm going to go three down. I actually, believe it or not, I actually reckon this is probably the better one of this season so far. But still a heap of shit. At least they didn't have Strange's bald cap. (laughs) Alright then, well, let's move on to the next one and uh, we'll see you all in the next recap.
This has been a Cabana production.